Hey guys, AJ here, back with another one for you. So once again, we are gonna go to the dumpster fire known as TikTok to talk about lesbian, lesbians, lesbians, lesbian, lesbians. That's right, guys. Here we are again. Okay, and I have a long running series on how lesbians, right, think that they're gonna date chicks, and there's there's no toxic men around, so everything's gonna be sunshine and rainbows. Then they start dating chicks and find out you've been had. Hey guys, I have a whole series of videos on them complaining about how hard it is to date chicks, how much it costs to date chicks, and the rejection that they get trying to talk to girls, right? If, you, if you're interested in those guys, check out the playlist linked at the end of this video, right? But today we are going to revisit the high rates of DV, okay? So we're going to go to TikTok. But before we do, guys, like, subscribe, drop a comment, because it really helps keep this channel going. And check out my second channel linked in the description, guys. Let, let's go. We need to talk about domestic violence and lesbian relationships. It needs to stop. This is a huge problem, and it happens for a number of reasons. A huge reason is insecurity, lack of trust, a history of abuse yourself. Gone well. But no matter the reason, it's not okay. It's not okay to insult your partner, to be hypercritical of your partner, to put your hands on your partner, to financially abuse your partner, to threaten to out your partner. You are not entitled to your partner's body if they say that they don't want to be physically involved in you in whatever type of way. It's underreported. You don't get a lot of support from the local police departments because the laws don't even cover same-sex relationships. Isn't that funny, guys, how they're saying the exact same thing that they say about us? Patriarchal men, right? It's underreported. And there's mental abuse and financial abuse and all, all this foolishness, right? Isn't, isn't that funny? All this stuff that they blame us men for. Saying all men are all these horrible, horrible, abusive people, people when they're saying that about each other. Isn't that funny how that works, right? the way they do heterosexual relationships. The bottom line is you have a responsibility to yourself and to the people that you're in a relationship with to be safe and considerate and respectful. And that's what relationship counseling can do for you if you're struggling in this area. There you go, guys, for hashtags. Hashtag l lesbian TikTok, right? Um, hashtag lesbian. Hashtag lesbian relationship. Hashtag lesbian therapist. Hashtag domestic violence, DV, right? Clown world. Now this little segment is gonna probably get this video demonetized, but I don't care. Cause guys, I didn't know this. Check this out. Contrary to what this turf wants to believe, lesbians are mostly raped by other women. What? Around one third of lesbians have been raped by another woman, whereas only 6% of lesbians have been raped by a man. Denying the very reality and the very real violence that lesbians face within the lesbian community and the domestic violence that lesbians face within the lesbian community does nothing to help lesbians. As usual, scratch a turf, find a lesbophobe. Contra wow, did you guys know that? Did you hear those, those statistics? That is crazy. I, I thought I'd heard everything. But guys, it just seems like these two, these girls meet, meet each other, move move in with each other almost immediately and then <laughs> they start throwing rock bottoms and stone cold stunners man this is absolutely insane i haven't even heard this and guys her hashtags hashtag lesbians hashtag lesbians hashtag lesbians tiktok <laughs> Hashtag SV, hashtag DV, hashtag D abuse, hashtag SV survivor, hashtag SA, hashtag SA survivor, hashtag lesbian community, hashtag uh, not welcome. Okay, clown world. All right, I'll make this quick because I've tried to do this take a few times. I'm extremely disillusioned. 72% of lesbian relationships 
end in divorce. It's much higher than our gay male counterparts, and it is much higher than the straight relationships. And while we can suppose a lot of things here as to why that is, the most concerning to me are the domestic violence statistics. There it is. Between women and the emotional abuse statistics. There it is. Between women. It has left me disillusioned. And I was already pretty disillusioned anyway, having exclusively been with women for the last 10, 12 years of my life, having been married and divorced to a woman. I already was pretty disillusioned. But looking at the statistics and the fact that they match my own experiences. There it is, guys. See? See? People always say men are are the ones, you know... A, Doing the most, and th if you even suggest that women do it too, how dare you? <laughs> they can't even believe it, right? They cannot even believe it, guys. You heard it here. This person here says that their own experience mirrors these statistics, and guys, there's a whole bunch of these goofs on TikTok trying to say that these stats aren't true. Then there's more saying that they are. Okay. Clown world. And guys, her hashtags. Uh, hashtag self-love. Hashtag self-care. Hashtag single. Hashtag do better. Hashtag divorce. Hashtag LDHGT TV. And of course, hashtag... Lesbians. Right? And validate my own experiences with women. I'm just going to leave that there. Um, happy to be single. Yeah. Well, I thought it was all men. I thought it was the patriarchy, right? Look at this. In the first comment, someone said, so the funniest part of all this is that no one can, I can blame us men or the patriarchy, right? Look at that. Look at that, man. Can you imagine? These girls move in together. They live together. Just start swinging and all of a sudden, guys. They can't make us the bad guy on this one, guys. They, can, they can't do it. But I'm sure they're going to try. So, all right, you guys, this is AJ. I appreciate you guys. Check out the playlist linked at the end, guys. I appreciate you, and I am out of here.